in today's video we are going to discuss about unit 3 part 1 paths path products and regular expressions coming to path path is nothing but a flow graph here these are two different kinds of path which is nothing but a flow graph to define the expressions by this flow graph we are going to define expressions like from 1 to 3, 3 to 4 and 4 to 5 and 5 to 2 this is one expression and here also we can come 1 to 3, 3 to 4 via B and D and F this is called one path of expressions this is called paths by this we are going to define expressions like E a plus b c plus d and f this is called expressions firstly path product path products normally flow graphs use it to denote only control flow connectivity control flow connectivity is nothing but which is going to starting point to the end point This is called control flow connectivity between one, two, three nodes. The simplest weight we can give to a link is a name. Here, link between one and two, giving as a weight, we call it as weight. For this weight, we are giving the name as A. This is nothing but the simplest way we can give to a link is a name. Next, using link names as weight, whatever I said, from 1 to 2 is a connectivity and A is called a weight. This is nothing but A is name. We convert graphical flow graph. Graphical flow graph which is nothing but like this and this is called graphical flow graph into equivalent algebraic expressions here I have derived this is called algebraic expressions from these flow graph I have derived these expressions which donates the set of all possible paths from entry to exit for the flow graph here we have derived the algebraic expression from entry of the entry of the path to end of the path here from e it is a starting point and f it is an ending point this is called path products the path name is also called as path product path name is nothing but 1 2 2 here gave that a name this is called path product the concatenation of names of two consecutive path segments is called path product concatenation is means nothing but adding of two paths for example x and y defined as x equal to a b c d e and y f g h i j then concatenation of x and y equal to adding the two paths y x means first f g h i j and a b c d another example of an a path product uh, x equal to a b c d e f g h i y equal to u v w z then concatenation of x and y equal to 
a b c into like this means a b c d e w d e f u v w g h i u v w next a b c z plus d e f z plus g h i z this is called concatenation of a and b for example another example if x is equals to a b c x1 is equals to a b c then x square is equals to a b c square which is nothing but a b c a b c the path product is not commutative that is x y does not necessarily equal to y x commutative is not nothing but x y is not equal to y x here for example can we take an x x equal to a b y is equals to c d x y is equals to a b c d y d is y x is equals to c d a b this is this both are not this is nothing but the path product is not commutative the path product is associative that it can be associative like x y z equal to x z x this can be associative next path expressions from these we can derive the path expressions like f f x plus y plus d into g u plus v plus w plus h plus i plus j into k which is nothing but uh, whatever the passes through this line is equal to into and what are the above and below of these line are called parallel lines parallel lines should be sum here same f x plus y plus z these are parallel lines and u v w h i j these are parallel lines so we are going to add these and we have to sum some of these and sum of these into this f g k next the plus sign was used to denote the fact that path names the path sum denotes paths are in parallel between the nodes whatever they are uh, whatever the parallel no nodes are nothing but sum whatever these lines are nothing but we have to add into not add here path sum is commutative as well as associative commutative is equals to x plus y equal to y plus x going next we are going to derive about loops loop is nothing but an infinite set of parallel lines infinite set of parallel lines uh, which can be b1 b2 b3 up to b and parallel lines say that the loop consists of a single link we have only single link between parallel loops then the set of all paths to that loop point is b0 b1 plus b2 plus b3 up to bn here i am going to derive it
loops can be understood as infinite set of parallel lines say that loop consisting of single link b here single link b set of all path through the loop point is b0 b1 b2 bn this is called b and these are b1 b2 b3 b4 this is called loop and uh, we have distributive law and uh, absorption rules firstly distribution lies in nothing but the product and sum operations of distributive and the ordinary rule of multiplication apply which is nothing but we have multiplication and sum of the nodes is called distributive law for example a into b plus c is equals to a b plus a c this is called distributive law we can also derive uh, above examples like e here e e a plus b c plus d and f here we can derive is e b into d e and f here e a c e f plus e a d f plus e b c f plus e b d f we have to multiply and sum this is called distributive law uh, we can also write as a notes like first example only can take this example as distributive law e a e a plus b c plus d into f e this is distributive law next absorption rule is nothing but x plus x is equals to x this is called absorption rule uh, in the simplest way we can tell us if x and y denote the same set of paths then the union of these set is unchanged consequently uh, which is nothing but uh, x and y denote same path the union of these set is unchanged which is unchanged is called absorption rule x plus x is equals to x uh, this is nothing but an absorption rule 